Joining me now is Whitney with Cats Playhouse. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, you have an upcoming play that sounds very exciting. Go ahead and tell us about it. Uh, it's called It Takes a Village. Uh, I was commissioned last year by the Lubbock ISD to write a show that all of the high schools and all of the middle schools in the district could present together. And we did that at the Buddy Holly Hall in November. It is the first original play to be presented at the new Buddy Holly Hall. Wow. So I'm very excited about that. Exciting. And now I'm doing a little condensed version at Cat's Playhouse with uh, child actors in all of the roles. That sounds amazing. So tell us a little bit about, about it without giving us too much. Right. Well, it's based on folklore from um, all different cultures and and, and nations mm -hmm. and it's one village that shares all of their stories with each other and so that was a, a way that I could get all of the high schools and middle schools to do their own thing but bring it together so um, one of the stories uh, involves a goose feather pillow okay and it's about a woman who has really awful things to say about her fellow villagers mm -hmm. and she decides she needs to take her words back because she gets someone in trouble wow. and so an old wise sage in the village tells her that she needs to rip the pillow and spread the goose feathers and then collect all of them oh, wow. which she of course cannot do so he explains that she also can't take back her words so you have to be careful what you say Wow. So I think I that's a lesson that for all of us. You got to yes. be careful what you say. That's definitely <laughs> yes. a good lesson. So tell yes. us a little bit about what's and in this here. This is the uh, the a whisker of a tiger, okay. and I love this story. It's an ancient Japanese story about a warrior who comes home and he's distant to his wife, which is very relevant in our times. So she also goes to this wise old sage and asks him to create a potion so she'll her husband will love her again, mm. and he tells her all he needs to make this potion is the whisker of a tiger Ooh. and she spends a month bonding with this tiger so she can pluck the whisker yeah. and she's patient and she's kind uh, and she's gentle with the tiger and she brings it back to the wise old man and he says you don't need this if you can be that patient gentle and kind you can get your husband to love you again Wow, this sounds so amazing. I want to go see it. And so <laughs> this sounds amazing based on what you said. So what do you think that people will get out of this play when they come and watch it? I think it's it's a charming play. I try to make it very funny. The kids are, of course, wonderful in it. And it's great to see young people. They're all in their costumes and they're all trying so hard. And um, I think it's just a delightful, a delightful evening. It sounds like a delightful evening with a lot of lessons, which is really great, too. Yes. Well, go ahead and tell people where they can get more information. Uh, you can uh, go to Cat's Playhouse, uh, their website, or you can join them on Facebook, and they will have uh, ticket information. It's uh, $10 a person, no matter what age you are. Okay, well, thank you so much, Whitney, for joining me today. Thank you. Absolutely. Now, let's hear what Edge Home has to offer for this week's Welcome Home West Texas.